Hello all you trading junkies out there in Traderland, D7 here with FreeTradingVideos.com. And it appears that the services sector takes off helping with the report that came out this morning saying it's the first time we saw an increase since a year ago this August. So the market's up 212 points. That's a 1.2% rise in the Dow, the S&P 1.5% and 1% on the NASDAQ and almost 2% on the Russells with a nice drop here in the VIX, putting us back down under 27. Both the bank and the basic material sectors did very well today. And we can see this on the S&P daily chart. We have ourselves a nice little bounce here. And the bounce that's taking place is starting to show a bull flag. So let me drop a Fibonacci. I'm going to pull a Fib going from the very low here to the very high. Well, let's try this again. Very low there uh, to the high. As you see here, we have this pullback right to the 61.8 on the Fibonacci level. Now, this could be a bull flag, so we have to be very, very careful here. If this is a bull flag, you're going to see a nice run clearing these highs. But if we were to close below the 61.8, the chances of clearing these highs significantly decrease. So this was at a very pivotal time to get a bounce. So anyway, I do expect one more bounce, and I think our levels will be right here. Let's see. I'm going to get rid of this Fibonacci line. And we have a, a resistance area at 1044, 1045. And we have these moving averages, but I do see another one coming up at the 1050, 1051 area. That's your next level of resistance. If we clear that, we should start blasting through these other areas right here. But if we don't, if we hang up here and then come down, then we're going to start testing these support areas. And if we start busting through these support areas, especially this 50-day moving average, um, things could get really hairy and fast. If we look here at the MACD, we have what looks to be a crossover starting to take place. We have a, still a negative tick, but it's so small. It does. Um, this could flip over very easily right now. I did say a guess on um, the weekend edition video. Now I thought today would be bullish and tomorrow bullish. It's just a guess. And then the rest of the week would be very bearish. So um, my guess is still intact. I think tomorrow will be a choppy day. I don't see a huge uh, directional run either way. I see a smaller candlestick taking place. Tomorrow is my golfing day, so I hope I'm right. <laughs> and, um, and then from there, it's anybody's guess. And I think things could get really hairy. I think... Um, People are starting to wake up that the economy is not out of the woods yet, and there's still possibly some shoes to drop yet. So there you are. There you have it. Stay close to freetrainingvideos.com, and we'll make sure you're taking care of, technically speaking, here in the market, where the freedom to learn gives you the power to profit. <laughs> Catch you later.